today. We're keeping a close eye on those COVID-19 numbers here in Indiana because the state could cross the 100,000 mark for confirmed cases. The state did report another 851 new cases yesterday, bringing the total to 99,804. That means we're just 196 cases away from breaking into triple digits. We should get those updated numbers around noon today. Some colleges are having problems with COVID-19 clusters, but it looks like IUPUI is not one of them. Some good news there. IUPUI has only had five positive cases, so the chancellor sent an email to students saying, none of this is easy, and I recognize that you are making sacrifices every day. It's clearly paying off at IUPUI. Let's keep up the good work and not take a break from taking care of each other. Some IU students could be in trouble for possible COVID-19 safety violations while out on Lake Monroe. Pictures on social media show young people parting on boats without masks or social distancing. IU police and the Department of Natural Resources are investigating and it's not clear if these are IU students, but the university says if they are, they could face sanctions for violating the code of conduct for off campus gatherings. Now, Lake Monroe Boat Rental says it did rent some double decker pontoons to college aged kids and that the group violated rules about tying boats together on the water. The company says the renters didn't get their deposits back and had reservations canceled for the rest of the year. Of course, today is Labor Day, and right now 27 states are seeing a rise in COVID-19 cases. And you may remember last week, Dr. Anthony Fauci warned seven states, including Indiana, ahead of the holiday weekend, saying we're at a risk of a surge if people are careless. He doesn't want to spike like we got after the 4th of July when people crowded beaches on the coast and had parties. But take a look. In some places, that happened all over again this weekend.